Today, I'm very proud to announce the first of the three pillars of the Families First Agenda. This pillar is one we call Protecting Vulnerable Families. We have a duty in this wealthy province to protect and care for BC's most vulnerable citizens. And our government takes that duty very, very seriously. That's why the policies laid out in this plan are designed to help families continue to progress and thrive and become more self-sufficient. We're working to reduce poverty across the province in many ways, like providing low-income families with enhanced supports to help them get by. And getting back into the workforce for a lot of people with disabilities is a really important uh, way for them to become part of the society and a way to break out of the cycle of poverty that a lot of people with disabilities find, find themselves in. So I thank both the Minister and the Premier for, for making those changes happen today. And like always though, there, there's still a lot of challenges for people with disabilities and I uh, really love the changes that were announced this morning and I actually look forward to working with the provincial government to, uh, to look at what else we can do to ensure that the, the, the proper supports and the proper so, um, employment services are there to, to fully make sure that people with disabilities get all the opportunities that they need to uh, flourish in our society here in British Columbia. I want to acknowledge the leadership of Minister Kadu and Premier Clark uh, really at a national level. Um, this is an example, I think, for other provinces which need to take the same, the same sort of step in order to improve the lives of many of these women. But this is an extremely positive move on the part of the province and one that we're very, very happy to be here to endorse. There will be an opportunity for a lot of public input and engagement on the Families First agenda in the coming months and I want to encourage and invite every single British Columbian to share their ideas with us if they haven't already done so. I hope that British Columbians will join us in implementing this agenda so that we can create a better British Columbia for every family. Thank you.